fresh little poopy. Aren't we so oh, proud? Daddy, you're still tired too. Well, see, I just ate, Daddy. Mm. Yeah. It is. It's almost 4:25 a.m. and he just had his first poopy. It's tight. It's it's very s small. So I know there's gonna be more, but I gotta oh. go change it. I'm gonna go change his first poopy diaper. Good morning, my hands large. We are having Mickey D's for breakfast. Of course. Because hospital food is gross. Finnegan has had his fair share of breast milk this morning. And he got his sock off. Oh no, he's scratching himself. He was born with like a full set of nails and he's scratching his face really bad. But I am doing okay today. I, my blood counts are low because of the blood I lost during surgery. So uh, it's gonna take a few months to get those back up, which is gonna be another challenge, but I've been anemic before. I think it's just taking a hard, uh, it's taking its toll on me right now because I've just been through surgery. Well, Finnegan, you're officially living your second day. And we're starting it with a big old walk. He's technically still in his first day. It's not like 24 hours. This is true. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm going too early. So we're walking. We're trying to make sure everything's moving and everything's in, you know, used to, to, I don't even know how to word it, but we're, we're walking now just to, just to feel better. There's Cousin A. Elliot. They're 13 days apart, Becky 13 said. days apart. Cousin A. Elliot. And then there's Finnegan. Let's hold them close to each other, see how they compare. Oh. Look at that. Oh, look at our little guy. Come here, I can't lean forward. Come closer. He's a real thinker. Oh, Doug. I'm pondering life already. Let's show him his head. Now this guy, is, this is normal. It's just because he, I guess, labored that way for so long and he didn't come out um, vaginally so it looks weird and really concerning but it's okay nope it's just his head you ready for your 24-hour assessment huh that's what we're getting done okay and it's 4.6 that's good it has to be below 8.1 okay so you're doing really good then. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, like that. I like that. That's their favorite part. Mm -hmm. I imagine that. I imagine that pressure is very similar to, you know, early labor. Let's get back here. Y'all don't know, but we've arranged you two to be married already. <laughs> Do you like cameras? <coughs> she likes anything she uh, can just touch or get into. Don't stay on beam. Uh, <laughs> good job. Was that your girlfriend? Just my friend for a Finnegan, who is a champion breastfeeder, is cluster feeding today. I've probably breastfed him at least, what, like 15 to 20 times. Oh, yeah. He will get full and seem satisfied, and then like 
five minutes later he wants to eat again. And at first I thought he wasn't getting enough because you know this is my kind of my first go round with breastfeeding to this extent. And uh, the lactation consultant came in and she was really nice and she explained to me everything um, and said that he was just fine. He was getting everything he needed to get. Um, some of you, we haven't published our birth vlog yet, but some of you have been asking if I had my be back. By now you know that I did not. Um, but this was a much better experience. And while I didn't get what I wanted in my birth experience, the doctors and nurses and midwives did so much to make it as wonderful as possible. And honestly, they did. Um, I wasn't separated from Finnegan or Robert at all. I was, um, they even hunted down a special drape so that I could see Finnegan be born. Um, they did, they did a lot of things against hospital protocol, like, you know, what they usually do, just to meet my, my wishes. And this is going to sound, um, rude but that's sort of what I required and they met those requirements and that's that's all I can ask for plus I didn't feel any pain I didn't feel anything with his birth uh, when they pulled him out of me I did feel a lot of pressure in my chest he's wanting to eat again already here's our little cluster feeder I do want to apologize. I know that the, you guys are like anxiously awaiting our birth vlog, but these take time because you have to make them very, very special and kind of emotional. And when you're in the hospital having a baby, you get very, very little sleep and you doze off a lot while you edit. And you also, also doze off a lot when you breastfeed. And while we usually work together on editing and we usually get, you know, she does some, I do some. You know, we, we, we find a way to make it work to where we get things out on time. This is one of those occasions where we really just, you know, we love that you guys are patient with us. We're sorry that there is like, I know some people like to see footage of the actual birth, but this hospital would not allow us to film the surgery. So we didn't get to film the C-section. And honestly, for me, I'm... Um, I'm a little happier with that. Now, I did get to see it on a monitor and through the, the drape, and it was kind of incredible. Did you actually look at the monitor? Mm -hmm. You didn't think you were going to, did you? I didn't think I was going to. It was to. neat, though. It was. It was, like, from that, like, from the doctor's eye, and that was, that was very interesting. Now, like. Now, I did watch it after they pulled him out, and, like, um, they pulled my uterus out to make sure that it was, like, empty empty and uh it was like ew that's gross but at the same time it was like that's my body part that's incredible i'm seeing that right now did you come to see him again yeah do you think he's cute yeah what's your favorite thing about him i do love him um, what you want to love him and play with him yeah oh cool beans look he's right there look look he's right there Grace, are you going to be Finnegan's godmother too? If you want me to. Of course we do. It's your turn. I figured as much. Come on, buddy. <laughs> so we've all been given the clear to go home. You ready to go home? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm ready to be home. And this little guy oh, yeah. is ready to get his oh, yeah. He's ready to get his take home out outfit on because he's a little bit chilly. Oh baby, are you okay? Yeah. What was it? I don't think you wanna know. Okay. Well I think you know, I don't think they wanna know. Can we just call it one of those pains? Mama, I'm 
my coming home outfit is too big. You want to see? You hear him? He wants to talk to you. Jameson. Hi, baby. I'm coming home to you and I'm bringing your brother. He's, he's been very fussy all night, so maybe he'll sleep for us and we'll get to play. I love you, baby boy. Time to pack up and go home. Robert! Hey, I want those socks. Those ones? No, they're my big fluffy ones. Big fluffy socks. I knew you. Yeah, that was weak. Oh, she called me weak. We are, we have to do this discharge class, which I kind of think is dumb, if I'm being honest, but. I mean, if you think about it, maybe for new parents, if it's their first child, or it's been so many years, like maybe their oldest child is 15. Yeah. Because, I mean, it was kind of dumb that we had to do the discharge disc with Jameson, where we had to, like, watch the thing about, you know, letting your baby scream as opposed to not shaking them. So I'm assuming this is basically what it's going to be. It's like a don't shake your baby class. But I mean, we did this 11 months ago and they're still requiring us to go. But look at me. I've spent all this time. Actually, I didn't. Robert spent all that time packing our hospital bags. I've worn this and hospital gowns the entire time because of my incision. Well, look at this. She looks great. I look okay. I look swollen. You are a little swollen, but you still look like, you know, you're freaking great. I am freaking great. But, um... I mean, we, we thought these things wouldn't fit you. Yeah, I wasn't Remember? worried about it. But I spent... I, I packed, like, all of my makeup. All of it. Every single piece that I used. Because last time I didn't have any of it with me. I just had, like, the bare essentials. And I, this time I was like, you know what? I'm going to look decent. I'm going to feel decent about myself. And I just have not cared about clothes or makeup or... You packed all the good stuff and didn't touch it. Yeah. I, just... I lugged it up here from the car. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. But yeah, I just haven't cared. I just, I don't know what it is. And I'm not like depressed. I don't, I don't think I'm depressed this time. But I just, I don't know. I've just been comfortable the way I am. And I'm comfortable being comfortable. Now, this guy, on the other hand, none of his clothes fit. Like, look at his socks. And he has this really terrible newborn rash all over his body. I know he's not premature, but, like, in all... He seems premature. All, yeah, he's just, he's just premature. So, I think I might have to go get a couple things of preemie clothes like look at his legs guys there's nothing to them but he's cute look at this face final stages loading up the car and discharge papers i'm gonna let sarah hold the camera and you can watch me do this we are almost home well we're packed up our stuff is on the cart what do you think of that finn again yeah oh look at that he's open in those eyes can we open the eyes again? No, you're tired. That's okay. That's okay. So he's got one more thing to do. I have to get a shot. Ah, where are you going to get it? Right in the butt, right? I don't think they'll give you the shot. I think I think I have to have it in my arm. Oh. Not in my butt. I see what you did there. <laughs> well, we're done. Sarah's so waiting in the lobby and pulling the car up. And Jameson, we're coming home to you, bud. Not gonna lie to you, if you're watching this, you know, years down the road, this is hard for us. Don't get me wrong, it was good that we got some peace because you're a loud kid and you could, at times could be a handful, but we miss you more than we ever thought we could. You ready to go home? <laughs> uh, you ready? I'm ready. Here he is in his new car seat on his way home. I have to like pad everything in here because he's so small that he doesn't, like he fits. But 
it's just the the padding is made for a much small or much larger newborn. So, just wanna one big step. Okay. Finnegan, you're home. One of the only places in the world you'll always be welcome. Don't jump. Welcome home. <laughs> What do you think, huh? Welcome home. What do you think? <laughs> Jameson! Hi, we're home! I miss you! I miss you too! He's hungry too, so we're gonna feed him. And he lost a sock. Yeah, I saw it on the floor out there. Okay. That's a pretty sweet commercial, huh? Hi. Mm. I love when you open your eyes. Are you happy to be home? What do you have? Are you happy to be home? See, I can't quite figure out what's going on. This is very different. You can see his newborn rash pretty well in this lighting. On his neck back here is where it's the worst. But look at his little hands. Can I show everybody your hands, Finnegan? Look at those hands. And look at these nails. They're already lethal. I need to trim them. You on your mom game right now? I'm doing good. I'm not overwhelmed at all. <laughs> two screaming babies who are managed to stay calm. Feeding two babies at once. While also managing to take bites yourself. Good night to the vlog, Finn again. Say good night to the vlog. You are so tiny. <sighs> you guys are gonna be seeing my shoulders a lot because I'm breastfeeding. I'm putting a shirt on is useless. That and when you need to rest like this to recover from a surgery, it's just so much easier to not wear anything. Yeah. I mean I'm like a news anchor right now. I'm in a shirt, but under these blankets, no pants. But we are gonna do our sub <laughs> subscriber shout out today. But Feels before we do, do that, that again. before we do that, we kind of want to go out and just say like thank you to everybody. Everybody's been amazing. You guys I also want to say. Um, the footage that we did get of Finnegan's birth did not adequately capture it. Um, there was a lot of behind the scenes. That there was, a, like, I didn't get my, my V back, which is, yeah, devastating. But we were truly happy. Like, Robert and I were smiling and crying, and we were happy in the operating room this time. And it was... I mean, the, this hospital and its staff went. They went above and beyond above for Above and beyond it to meet every request Sarah had. And I'm going to film a birth story for my channel. Explaining everything that we didn't get to film. But um, I'm not upset. I am a little bummed. We were, we were definitely more emotional before the C-section. But um, I'm still really happy with the way it happened. And last time I came out feeling like I wasn't a mother, like I wasn't a woman. And I don't feel that way this time. Everybody was so accommodating and Just over just immensely. It was it was a beautiful polite. experience even for a C section. So I'm not upset. I know it may have seemed that way in the birth vlog, um, after he was born, but I'm, I was just sort of in awe. 
I'm sorry, we have not slept well in days. No. Um, but yeah, so like before we go into who we're shouting out tonight. Just thank you to everybody. Everybody. You were all so amazing. And your comments on our videos really kind of helped us get through some of the hospital chaoses. But, just to clear it up for everybody out there, especially the new people, our comment of the day is going to Ten's channel. Ten's channel said, <laughs> so when is his birthday? His official birthday is August 16th. 16th. Which is actually the day that I guessed. Because of the full moon. Because of the full moon. But we love you guys. We're going to get back to a regular vlogging schedule now. Um, um, we know this the last couple days. And I know you guys understand. You've all been super supportive of us. Not publishing on time. And even in like on a whole day. But starting tomorrow we're going to pick up like we usually do. So. We love you guys. Be sure to thumbs up this video, check us out on social media, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye! Bye.